have speeder in the beast Storm simulator test room three times before so in this video i will be doing the same exact speeder run where i speed run every single black bear quest up until i get the mythic egg but this time i have 75 bees so that's gonna be fun to see first of all i'm gonna get 25 bees and go to the top shop there i can buy another 50 hive slots because Ana added that for some reason after i get 75 bees i can go around getting every single amulet i can kill the coconut crab and I can get the best gear and tools. And after that, I will start doing Black Bear quests. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, or you just like watching Beast Storm content, make sure you drop a like and sub. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So yeah, let's reset my account. Come on, ban me on it. Thank you. So yeah, I have a speedrun timer here, so I think I'm gonna start the speedrun. So yeah, 3, 2, 1. Let's just go timer has started. So first of all, get buffs. I gotta get that. Get equips, because why not? Get all the eggs and auto-claim badges. I'm just gonna claim the closest hive on it. Bro, on it, what is going on? There is too much stuff happening. I gotta turn the music off. Okay, where are my star eggs? This is gonna take so much time. I actually have to speedrun getting 25 bees in my hive. This is gonna take so long. Bro, stop with the badges! Okay, yeah, so I have like five more bees to add to my hive, maybe a bit more. I'm bad at counting. So yeah, almost a minute in, and I have 25 bees somewhere on there. Okay, and there we go. I should unlock the red cannon. Let's go. Now let's go to the top area, see what I can buy. So obviously I have to buy the best tools. These aren't the best tools, but they're gonna help me. And now I can just spam these hive slots until I get 75. So in the Beast Storm Test Realm, every single hive slot costs only a million honey, which is great. And you can buy a whole nother 50 of them. Okay, this should end soon, right? I bought plenty hive slots. Yep, there we go. I have exactly 75 hive slots and I need to fill in another 50 of them. So I have a plan. First of all, I got to get the basic bee, of course, for the extra pollen. I'm going to get that gifted soon. I'll show you how. But yeah, here are all my event bees. So I'm going to get every single event bee in Bee Swarm, except the puppy bee because it is utterly useless. Oh well, yeah, digital bee. This is my first time speedrunning test realm with digital bees. It's going to be interesting to see if digital bee affects my speedrun by a lot. Vicious bee, why not? You're pretty cool. And same with windy bee. And now... I have a plan. So I'm going to do a lot of vector bees, a lot of precise bees, mostly precise bees because they get the most pollen. I do need some tadpoles for baby love. I need like four. Okay, there we go. That's four tadpoles should be enough. And now we can do spicy bees and precise bees. I'm going to do as many precise bees as I can possibly fit in this hive because, you know, precise bees are king. Yeah, before I forget, fuzzy bees are also pretty freaking good because, you know, they pollinate the field and they give you thick flowers and you get much more pollen from them. So already three minutes, 15 seconds in and I'm almost at 75 bees, which is pretty good progress if you ask me. Okay, there we go. We should have 75 bees. Let's check. Yep, 75 bees and only 41 bee types discovered. So now I can press this button and make all my bees level 20 and gifted, which is absolutely great. Yeah, all my bees are just becoming gifted right now but yeah i'm gonna make some amulets i don't really care what these amulets give me as long as i actually have one it doesn't really matter it's only a little bit of pollen that i'm losing out on all i care about is star saw okay scorch saw good enough for me okay plus one red bait attack sure uh shell amulet uh okay cool stuff and same with stick bug yes now i need to get a bunch of things i need to get the coconut canister the gummy boots the gummy baller i'm gonna be using the gummy baller for the speed run but yeah come on bees attack where are my singers at here are my singers come on attack i need to kill this thing as fast as possible Okay, you dead. Now let's go ahead and craft everything in this shop. So coconut clogs, coconut canister. Let's sprint over to the gummy layer. Good gummy bee. Get glue. Not like I care about that. I don't know why I crafted the glue. It's just instinct. But yeah, I got everything gummy. I'm dripped out. Oh yeah, I can start using some snowflakes. That's gonna help me quite a bit. I do need the best sprinkler, which is a supreme saturator. Because obviously regenerating flowers is important. The ultimate speedrun. I'm so quick. And I can craft the crimson guards and the cobalt guards. But yeah, let's use the nectar tester so I get the max nectars and marshmallow bee why not and let's just start doing black bear quests we are six minutes in so let's see how fast i can do it i don't care about giving you a present no i don't care about your bees miss quest either okay i think i'll give him a present just in case i don't want to have to deal with that in the long run okay there we go cool thing um black bear please give me your first quest okay sunflower i can do that just by walking in your field okay what is your second quest dandelion no problem i can do that by walking your field too okay pollen just yep easy bro stop getting caught up on that rock bro red pollen easy as always a thousand blue pollen i should also get that instantly yep okay i think my next quest i actually get a silver egg so that's gonna be cool yeah okay the quest is done hey c replace mob black bear speedrun world record bro this man knows what the, my videos are about how does me six snow bro okay bamboo where's bamboo i have to run can my star saw 
like get this pawn for me. Okay, sure. Yep, it's done. This is the most annoying thing, running back and forth, back and forth forever. I'm gonna have to do this another like 2,000 times. Okay, red pollen, easy. Yeah, the first couple quests, they are no problem, except for the ones where I have to go very far, like spider. I prefer sunflower only. Okay, blue flower, mushroom, all this good stuff. I can do this very quick just by swinging my tool ones. I can probably just walk in this and finish the quest. Yep, you already know. Okay, I also have whirly gigs. I cannot forget that because whirly gigs are pretty OP. Okay, six more, I get a gold egg. 10,000 white pollen. Yep, easy. This is gonna take a while, so I'll give you guys a little time lapse of this whole grinding process until I get the gold egg. Okay, this should be the one red plus blue equals gold quest. I get the gold egg now. Let's go. My next quest is diamond egg. And in order... Okay, somehow I finished that without even going in the field. In order to get the diamond egg, you need to do 20 quests of black bear. So I guess starting now, 19 more quests until I get the diamond egg. After the diamond egg, there is a star jelly. And after the star jelly, it is the myth egg. Something about clover field. I just hate, dude. Running here, back and forth. Why couldn't Cloverfield be right next to Black Bear, dude? Bro, stop liking game! 150,000 blue, I should get it here, yep. Oh yeah, this is my favorite quest in all of Beast Form. Literally, just collect 8 pollen from Cactus Field. Let's teleport, be like Meru Shart, be a hacker. Okay, 10 more quests and I get the time neg. Pumpkin Patch, okay, this is starting to get annoying. This is the first quest of many where I literally have to travel the entire map in order to complete a quest. I have to do pineapple and then go to the other side of the map, do like rose, pine, all that good stuff. I do a really get ready, so I have to use these every couple minutes to get as much time off as I possibly can. Cactus, pumpkin, nice, and I can teleport. And one more quest and I get the diamond egg. In only 15 minutes of Beastworm playtime, I am able to get a diamond egg. How crazy is that? I don't know why I went to top field, this is so stupid of me. One more. Okay. Oh wait, no, that was the actual quest. I got diamond egg, let's go. Some kid did nighttime. If there's a vicious bee here and my bees attack it, I'll be very angry. Yep, 16 more quests and I should be able to get a star jelly. And after that is a mythic egg, which is great. A uh, bamboo blue flower, pineapple. Shouldn't be that difficult, right? Oh yep, so this is the farthest field from the Black Bear and Bee Storm, Bee Storm field, and I have to get pollen from it. Well, waste of time. But you know, it is what it is. And let's see how many more quests I need to get to Star Jelly. It's 18 minutes in, 15 more! Okay, that is not too bad. Okay, Pine, Mushroom, Blue Pollen, easy. Okay, get red E. Clover field, some field. Once more, you're going to the farthest fields in Beast Form. After this, I think it's like five more. Yep, only five more quests and they get a star jelly. And then I can start doing the myth gag. Okay, this is the last quest and I get my star jelly. Okay, so rose field, pine field, all that good stuff. I also gotta go to pineapple after this. Hopefully it does not take too long in the long run. Okay, so mountain top, stump, and pineapple. So all of it is right ahead of me. What about some field? Come on, don't lag. Why is my game lagging? This is a speedrun. I cannot be lagged. Quest is done and I should be able to get my star jelly and black bear should mention how many more quests I need to do for mythgeg. A myth gig, yes. So 20 more quests and I'm able to get my myth gig, which is absolutely dope. Okay, bamboo, 30, 30 million from bamboo, no problemo. I got both of Black Bear's quests completed in one second, so that's gonna be long turning that in. Please don't give me the animation for the Beesmas wreath, please. No. Okay, Mary Beesmas, Black Bear, now give me your next quest. Thin line and mountain. Uh, sure, whatever you say. I still have times three mountain top. Okay, red pollen, I'm just gonna do it here, yep. House lay. Okay, this is my least favorite thing to do inside of Beast Storm speedruns. Getting pollen from the ant field, bro. Okay, let's use it. And hopefully this 2.5 million pollen doesn't take too long. I might just get the red pollen done inside this thing as well. Okay, there we go. Nice. Reset. I don't care about the samlet. Okay, one more I get a star jelly and 16 more I get a myth gag. So I'm getting very close. Okay, stump and blue flower, bro. Okay, whatever, whatever you say again.
pollen fetcher. This is my actual favorite type of quest because literally I can do it in one second. I don't have to run around the whole entire map to do it. Yep, it's already done. And after this, only 10 more quests. And I get a mythic egg and speedrun is over. Okay, dandelion spider pepper. Okay, pepper. Now I have to go to the 35 area. Dude, you guys should tell me what other bears I should speedrun. Or like, what else I can speedrun in the bee swarm test realm. Because this is a lot of fun. Especially with 75 bees. It is, like, everything is so OP. Good thing I have times 3 mountaintop field boost, by the way. I was gonna do something like speedrunning on its star journey. But at the same time, you have to, like, wait for hours doing stuff. Especially waiting for mobs to respawn. I don't think I can do that in one video, so. Same with every other bear in bee swarm. Like, any other bear you can think of, they have a cooldown on something. Except black bear. Black Bear, all he wants you to do is collect pollen and suffer. Speaking of suffering, ant fuel pollen, I hate it. Why do you make me do this on it? Before I forget, super smoothie. And marshmallow bee, why not? I somehow have to get blue pollen, so I might as well do it in blue field while I'm at it. This is actual this is actual meta blue hive boost. You already know. Yep, okay, easy as that. Now I only have the ant field to do. I think I'll one shot the ant field, honestly, trust me. Where's my sarsa? Okay, well it's not a one shot, it's very close to a one shot. Okay, it's a one shot. I'm calling it one shot. I don't care. Okay, come on, black bear, why are you lagging? Thank you. Okay, strawberry, pineapple, pepper, pine. Okay, pineapple, pine. Now let's go to pine field. 100 million pollen from a blue field as the red hive. It's not very optimal, but once more, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna go to pineapple, get the pollen there, early gig to my hive, and go to pepper after that. I'm telling you, this is a whole giant master plan. In order to speedrun, you have to be very smart, and obviously, you guys know, I'm very intelligent. Pepper. Okay, already done. Variety fetcher 2 is finished. Six more, and I get a myth gig. This is insane. Okay, blue pollen. Usually, I complain about some field, but this is just so easy, especially with Star Cell. Like, I'm not struggling at all. Promise, guys, this is so simple. Okay, and quest is over, right? Yep, precise bees are actually saving me out so much. One of their precise target practices, and I can get all the pollen I need. I got a gifted silver egg. That's insane. Okay, clover, bamboo. Boo and pepper. Let's go to pepper first because why not? Okay, black bear, four more, and they get a myth gig. This is gonna be so exciting. I'm not trying to jinx anything, but I have a feeling this is gonna beat my world record by so much. Okay, white pollen from cactus, no problemo. Dandelion and spider. Okay, quest is done and cactus is done. Now time for spider. I do have a times three fuel boost in dandelion, so I'm just gonna go ahead and farm the rest of the white pollen in here. Yeah, like, this is just so easy, man. I just run around and I get everything. Yo, triangulates. Okay, well, too much going on. Way too much going on to comprehend for a normal beast swarm player, but I'm used to all the craziness, I'll be honest. Okay, coconut. Red pollen from coconut. What is this cursed quest? Let's jump up here. I have times three coconut, so that might be pretty helpful. Now, pumpkin and strawberry. Okay, I got my first gummy morph. That is insane. And for some reason, I'm getting like 300 million honey per second during a speedrun. That should not be happening, but I guess it is. Okay, what is that? Only two more, and I get a myth gig. 25 million from ant field. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I hate the ant field. Okay, coconut is done. Easy as ever. Now let's go to stump. Give me stump. Come on, bro. What's up with this game? Give me stump on it. Give me stump. Okay, finally, after like 78 field dice, I got some field. Okay, let's go here, and stump should be done. Yep, now time to go to ant field. <sighs> Okay, so only 40 minutes in, and I have almost got it in the myth gig. That is crazy, dude. Anfield is done too. Let's reset. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what do I get? Oh my gosh, what is this quest? Why is this a thing? This is so stupid. Okay, here's my plan. I'm gonna do stump and pineapple first because those are the farthest field. And after that, I can just really gig to my hive and do the rest of the field. Okay, so sunflower is done. Dandelion time. Okay, that is a whole lot of target practices. Let's do blue flower. Clover field as well. I think Sarasa will help. I should probably keep using it. Okay, yeah. Blue flower's done. Time for bamboo. Bamboo's done as well. Okay, so pineapple, stump, and those are the rest of the fields in this little section of the map. Pineapple is so easy, bro. I don't even have a field boost and I'm clapping. Clapping cheek is almost finished. Yep. Okay, spider, strawberry, mountain top. Mountain top is gonna be pain. I'm, I'm curious, can I get a sub 45 minute speedrun? Because that's gonna be insane if I'm able to. Okay, strawberry. Come on, strawberry. I believe. Okay, strawberry's finished. Now let's go over to Rose. Rose is red field. I have a bunch of red bees, so this is gonna be so simple. Yep. Now let's go to pine. I have these three field boosts. I have all these three fields to do in the 15 bee area. Pine is done. Oh, mother bear morph. That is the best bear morph and beast swarm you get 2.5 times pollen so this should be so easy now and i get extra speed as well which is even even better you know it's like ice cream with sprinkles 
even though that is disgusting. Okay, mountaintop, and after that, I only have to do some pollen and pepper and coconut on mushroom too. You can never forget the mushroom. I love mushrooms. Not the drugs, actual mushrooms. I love them. Okay, speaking of mushrooms, let's go over to mushroom. Mount Precise Bees, your thing. Your thing, 21. Mushroom is finished. Only two more fields to go, and I'm finished with a speedrun. Although, I do have to do this right in the pond. Probably should have done that in top field. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Pepper patch, which is literally done like second. Let's see red pond here, and I'll do blue pond and like pine or something. I don't know. Okay, red pond is finished. Let's go. Now, this is gonna be so close. Can I get this? in under 45 minutes sub 45 speedrun possibly oh my gosh dude i'm gonna have to glitter i believe come on we can turn this quest in by then almost done yes okay uh, let's worldly gig spam yes let's go i got the mythic egg in 44 minutes and 55 seconds this is such an insane speedrun bro i literally got my best time by 10 minutes which is insane in beast storm speedruns yeah so 75 bees are actually insane in beast storm speedruns so if you guys ever somehow get your hands on 75 bees and want a speedrun beast storm well you can expect to get the mythic Gag from absolutely zero quest in about 44 minutes. But if you guys enjoy, drop like and sub. These videos do take a very long time to make, especially this one. I've been recording for like more than almost an hour soon. Yeah, so 44 minutes, 55 seconds, and 50 milliseconds. Insane speedrun. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.